Well, there we have it. She's loaded up. Ready to go for a little ride. That engine's already ridden uh, 3,000 miles in that truck. So, well, hi, Sparks. Come here. Hey, buddy. So it's used to riding in the truck. It won't. Uh, it's no stranger to going down the road. Um, George, I bet you figured out what I'm doing with that engine. Haven't you? You're gonna be so happy. Anyway, uh, now the question is, do I bring the Nash back in? Because I've got other work I want to do to it. I've got uh, a set of disc brakes over there in the box. What well, came off of a pacer? Brakes off a pacer. Uh, Gremlin, and there's another one. Uh, I forget what what it is that will fit that. Uh, nice with a little bit of work, with a little persuasion, it'll fit. They don't just bolt right on, but I don't know how to make them fit. Anyway, I've got that to do to the Nash, and I could be working on that. I also have to. You're a pain. You know that. You're just a big pain. Yeah, you're a pain in the neck, or a little lower down. Anyway. I've also got to change out some air hoses on my airbags and my air system on that Nash to kind of speed up the raising and lowering. It's just got little quarter inch hoses and uh, <clears throat> I've been reading up on that a little bit and talking to some guys and they say yeah you need some bigger hoses. So I'm going to do that. That's one thing that's on the, in the works. But something came in the mail today. My Diodaro lights, my bronze light strings came. And you know what they're going on. So, um, I ain't gonna be able to study it until I get them on there. And I'm uh, kinda anxious to get that done. But I may not do that till this evening, you know. When I go in and get showered up and sit down and Sparky brings me my slippers and my pipe and, and, uh, and then I might sit down and work on that old hot rod uh, guitar, rat rod guitar a little bit. But in the meantime, I've got lots of projects. I think first thing I'm going to do is change out the casters on that uh, engine stand. Yeah, make it roll around the shop a little better. That's what I'm going to do. See ya. Get down. You're bugging me. You're aggravating me. Get down. Go on. He listens real good, don't he? Oh boy. White barks? Idiot. Idiot. Barky, he's kind of like a... <laughs> he's kind of like an idiot savant without the savant part. But he's happy. He's happy in your ignorance, aren't you, Sparks? Sparky! Yeah. Alright. Thank you. Well, I'm glad I did it the way I did when I put these wheels on this engine stand because all I did was I had bolt holes in it in, in the, the mounts so I just made some little button welds and that's going to be real easy to take them off I didn't weld them all down the side here and uh, because with the weight on them <laughs> they're just not going anywhere anyway so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, knock out those little button welds and mount up my other swivel casters on here and that'll make it a little easier to maneuver around here in the shop. See ya.